Welcome to the channel. My name is Stephen Silverbeard, and this is going to be the first part in a new Reforged Eden series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Before we get started, a couple of things is my original plan for this series was to do Reforged Eden Atlantis, and I actually recorded the first part. But what I've noticed, and if any of you guys know the answer to this, is that when I set the custom difficulty, when I went into the game, it reverted back to the default, which was sw effectively switched off the uh, the mass and volume restrictions and one or two other parameters like the toolbar only, which is really annoying. So, uh, so I've decided to g go back and just play Reforged Eden. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the fact I'm starting this in March 2024. And they, I think if you watch Spans's channel, you might be aware that uh, they are talking about Reforged Eden 2 sometime in the third or fourth quarter of this year. So that means that I've got a relatively short window to make as much progress on this series as possible. Because, of course, when Reforged Eden 2 comes out, we will definitely be taking a look at that, even if it's in a test mode. So that, So what I want to do in this series is try and make a fairly rapid amount of progress uh, forward so that we can uh, so that we can start to look at some more of the late game features now if any of you say well and and the final thing I want to talk about is somebody did suggest carrying on with my existing reforged Eden series and unfortunately I don't have that save game because I'm now playing on my new machine I did try transferring it over manually but it won't load so we're gonna have to start a game fresh so we're going to come in here so we're going to come in so we're going to click here start game we're going to go scenario you can see up here reforged eden atlantis 1.10 i do wonder whether it's got something to do with the fact that this is not in line with the current reforged eden which is 1.11 so we're going to do reforged eden 11 new game we'll call it re or whoops so we're going to start the top here start with uh reforged eden i'm going to call it s1 i know that's not my first series for reforged eden but it will be on this new machine uh, i mean it gives me a, a mark which i can actually uh keep track of what's it, what my say series save games are and um, we've got C can stay the same. So we can set, we've already got custom difficulties. I'm not exactly too sure what that's going on here. Starting equipment, we can leave at medium. I, I must admit, I do like toolbar items only. Food consumption. I'm going to put the amount of resources on rich to give us that little bit of boost to make some progress in the earlier part of the game. Uh, it says enemy difficulty easy. I don't really want to go easy. I think we'll go enemy difficulty hard. But we'll leave drone presence on normal and base attacks on normal. Uh, it says blueprint repair speed instant. Why would that be on instant? Is that now the uh, a kind of default setting for Reforged Eden? Strange. Well, I suppose I could leave it on instant. I've never played it on instant. Well, no, I, no, I think we're going to put it on. We'll put it on fast actually. So we'll put blueprint and repair on fast. Uh, blueprint spawn limit false. Yeah, don't like that because it means it makes spawning in ships very tricky. Uh, block limit certain set that to false. We've got chip volume uh, on yes. CPU points yes. Now we've got this new feature that was introduced in the vanilla game called unlock check um, BP factory checks if the tech tree is used. I must admit, I've got mixed feelings about this. Uh, I'm wondering whether to switch it off. No, I think we'll leave it on and just live with it. So we're just going to get there. So that's what we're going to do here. Now, starting location, I don't really want to do anything particularly very hard. But at the same time, I don't want to do it on alpha and see what else we've got here. We've got Akua, which is the old start. What's Talador? Okay, let's look at Talador. It says Talador, it's in the alpha system, it says easy. It says survival based starter missions 
equipment of ours. Solidar is an Earth-like temperate planet with vast forests, open plains, plenty of water. This planet has advanced POIs, which may present a challenge for the inexperienced. Okay, we're going to go for Talador. And as you can see here, it's a temperate starter planet. Um, planet difficulty easy, gravity, temperature, min-max, radiation none, atmospheric density, O2 concentration, breathable. Yes, and we've got deposits, carbon, iron, copper, silicon, promethium, gold. Gold would be good because it's an EVA boost, but... The two that's noticeably missing from here is um, titan titanium and cobalt. That could prove a, a bit of a problem with respect to building our our first ship or hover vehicle. Uh, so I'm just going to click start, and then we're just. And I'm just going to talk about what I want to do in this series as the game is loading in. Wow, that's an impressive ship. <laughs> Very fragile, but it looks impressive. Uh, yeah, what I want to do is try and get through the early stages as fast as possible. If, and I would also, if possible, would like to avoid actually getting um, making a base. But we may have to compromise on that a little bit. Whoops, what we got here now. It says here, you find yourself stranded on an alien world. Find a way to survive and eventually travel into space. Fault story missions are not available to complete in the starting planet. This could be started from some other um, starting planets. We also project Eden story by activating the make contact force by f1 starting planet may is it may be intended for experienced players and may be more difficult pois and challenges not found on a typical starting plan may require unconventional tactics play at your own risk yeah well <laughs> i'm liable to die multiple times so we, we've got a wow this is quite a big base can we use it no we can't but we can uh, um, I'm going to leave that just at the moment. This is quite a impressive base. I mean, um, but we can't own it. I wonder if we could spawn anything in it. The trouble is we can't fuel it. Okay, so let me just huh, see what we got. Uh, oh, uh, what I'm going to do is, well, we're going here. We'll get rid of you, you. Let's, let's sort this things out properly. So we got a pistol, we got a, got a chainsaw, so we got some fuel, got an ore scanner, got a, uh, got a portable constructor, that's not bad. We got a bandage, we got a health kit, got uh, a little bit of meds. I think we'll put the fuel cell in there for the moment. Keep the thermal regulator because I don't know how much the temperature is going to fluctuate. We're going to need a torch because I can almost guarantee that we're not going to have. I think what I'm going to do is we'll put that there, that there, that there. Okay. First, first number one job. We're, we're going to go out here and start picking because what I would like to do in this part before it gets dark is get to a point where I can how can you say I can get a spacesuit so the first priority is shotgun uh, a dr drill uh, make one of those yeah let, let me just talk about it on in so we've got so I would like well we're gonna need at least three portable constructors a a mechanical drill because Drilling out with uh, the uh, survival tools, a pain in the neck. And I certainly would like a, a shotgun and possibly up there. So we're trying to get to, going to see if we can get to level five as fast as possible. So what we're initially looking for is some uh, iron. Um, if I got these, had these, got to pick these up already. Nope. Okay, we're going to pick these up and just keep walking around. If I want. I want a second uh, uh, portable constructor. Then we can put the uh, one portable constructor back outside where that base is. Actually, let's throw out a scan. Uh, right, we found a small wreckage. We found a crash shuttle. Now, I'm not going to be in any great rush to build a base because we're going to need the necessary resources to build, pick up that base but what I would like is some uh, right we've got 
Take one of those and make a bandage as well. Oh, we found a spider's nest. That's great. <laughs> no weapons and we're near a spider's nest. I think what I will do is set you as a marker so I know the way back. What I can do actually is I know I can get some pretty good XP from actually cutting trees down. So uh, I could use the survival tool because I don't have that much in the way of um, biofuel. We should get a reasonable amount of hit points if I remember correctly from uh, picking up some logs. Yeah, we got 350 from there. Much space we got 102. All right, let's just work our way back. I need some iron. Looks like we might have some copper and some iron in this area. Uh, pick up that. Nothing for that. Yeah, we've got a bit of a debris field here. So we'll get into here. Right, we've got iron. And we'll just pick you up. Leave that there. Okay. I I got the the we leveled up, yep. Miscellaneous. Yep. So we can now start second. Look at the map as well. Okay, we're a little bit far away from water, but that's not a problem. We've got some kind of we've got some silicon here. We'll pick that up. And yeah, it's all XP. That's all that counts at the moment. Right, we're now level three. Uh, get that there. How much space have I got now? I've got four, five, eight. We need to get back to the base. Um, we got. A havoc rescue module here. Let's just have a quick look in here. At the very least we could scrap it. Um, Why is that 97 meters away? Okay. I think we will set up base here in the Havoc module first. And then later on, we'll check, put that there, make the egg, get some food, and put that in there. But we are now level three. So we should be able to get the shotgun, but we probably won't be able to make anything. We haven't got any copper as far as I can tell. Nope. Right, so we need copper. Eat that. Right, we're going to try and clear out this debris field here first. Um, but I'm not seeing any copper, but we could try and speed the process up a little bit with a big pile of stone. We're going to need stone anyway. Right, I'm just going to kind of tap me way through this and I'll be right back. Aha. <laughs> Just build up my inventory. Okay. We've got a bit too much. We've got 126 crushed stone. While I was doing that, I just remembered, then you probably guys are probably already putting it in the comments, that I've got the uh, ability to gonna take... Put, oh, no, no, put you in there, put you in there. going to take out four of those. Because I should have a number constructor. Oh, we need five ore. Okay. Uh, let's do that. 
and we get one. And I'm just going to deploy you. That should turn you around the right way, actually. Is that the right way? That's the right way around. Just remembered that, of course, I've got the goodies that are in here. Where they are. Oh, we've got showers for radiation if we needed them. Uh, where's the thingy, Bob? Right, we're going to take everything out of here. Oops, no. This is the power cells. We'll leave all that information in there. It says open the... Right, that gives us some ingots. Uh, we make a shotgun now. Yes, we can. Um, make, I think these are 25 rounds each. Right, well, that's going... Oh, it says F1. You need to travel to one of the default settings. Yes, thank you, game. It clears that message. Right, we're going to get back into the debris field and see what we can find. Um, da -da -da. A little bit worried about the levels of food. These are herbal leaves. I right, found a little bit of copper here. Um, grab the copper. All right, we now reach level four. That's good. I'm just going to try and snag the uh, the tree here. And that should give us some some more XP points. Well, wood, 175 for that. Let's just get back to the base. Actually, we got a little bit close by here. Pick you up. Some silicon. I'll grab you. Get back to the base. And we'll uh, put that in there. The rest actually, we can put quite a lot there. We've now got a shotgun. We'll keep the pistol in reserve. Flip that round. And we'll put you in here. And what I want you doing is churning out biofuel. Okay. Well, we're not going to go looking for a fight, but <laughs> if necessary, we will take it one if it's offered mainly because it's xp pick up that egg that give us a bit more food let's keep grabbing that i think i'd saw some copper around here we'll take this apologies that this isn't probably the most exciting thing that we need to do but uh we'll grab you um some bit more Grab some plant fiber. We don't have that much longer before it gets dark. I was hoping that we would have a lot of this done before it does get dark because uh, on these planets, when it gets dark, it gets dark. We won't be able to see. Oh, enough was that. I heard something rumble near me. Uh, I'll just keep picking this up. Um, grab you and you. Okay, well, okay. aha, right. What I have to do is drop that you up, floor you. Drop you in there. I think we're okay for iron at the moment. I think I've lost whatever was here, but that's no problem. We can sort that out. Get back to here. 
Got some more shotgun shells. Uh, right, we need to unlock the drill. That's under tools, isn't it? Work. Have that, 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 and that, and that in there. Work. Make an egg. Uh, bad trip. Uh, make one of those because the herbal leaves will probably perish. So, while well, that's going on, we're just going to hack down another tree. Mainly for the XP. here you in there right so we got the biofuel we should now have a drill oh, put there um oh we got our malt well, we got a drill eat that get our health up right can we we haven't quite yet got to level 5, but we must be still on level 4. Okay, we need about another 1500 points. So, we're just going to go out into the debris field again. Um, let's keep grabbing this, it's number 175. Um, some eggs. Well, need that. Pick you up. Anything else out here? We can grab the silicon two hundred. Another two hundred. Um, I think we're probably getting enough silicon. I think I can. Right, we've now reached level five. Uh, just get up to here. Have you and you. Some more over here. Right, so what we're going to do is sweep round this way and pick up what we can on the way back i'm not seeing any hostiles yet but it doesn't mean anything and uh, at the moment i'll rather not engage with them let's just sweep out around these plant fibers and oops uh, again it's all a little bit of xp I'm gonna keep adding and we're gonna head back towards the, the base I want the armor mainly because if we have an arm the armor we will have light and we'll be able to see what we're actually doing so uh, get there um, uh, Uh, a couple of eggs make two of those right let's just get into here weapons unlock the my armor can we make it where we find out we can't make it yes we can that's good take the herbal tea with us because that's good for indigestion uh, and so it's only 45 percent uh, I'll be completely honest, I've never been 100% certain about the how that percentage thing works. Uh, uh, we'll take another tree down while the armor's being made. I've got another 19 logs. 
probably put those into here. Uh, eat that, just wait for the armor. Right, just throw out some scans. I know I've got the resource group, um, deposits close by, but uh, I'm not too worried about those at the moment. Uh, as I say, I want, really would like to. Where's that wreckage? Yeah, so we've got a small wreckage over there. We'll go and check that on foot. Um, whoops. What I most likely do is a lot of the mining I do off camera, guys, because at this level it is immensely tedious. So, uh, um. Right, the wreckage is just over here. Um, we're up natural stimulant on the way through as well. Uh, small eggs there. I mean, we we might have a. There might be an option to have a crack at some spiders. <laughs> uh, Don't brought his buddies with him. Uh, good for XP, but leaf cutters can be a little bit of a pain in the neck. We got some meat, that's good. Uh, it's getting dark, so we need to get in here, grab what we can grab and then get out of here ASAP. We can come back for this later on. Right, I'm just going to get out of here and see. What, get back to our base and pick up this on the way through. Ah, push back in the seat there. Um, actually... Grab the natural stimulant, grab the herbal, what we call it. Then we can break out the... Get back the quick way. Help that. Go into there, pick up the armor, get that into there, get that. Um, got some spices, we've got three spices. This has got a longer perish time, so we'll put that there, put that in there. Make a natural drink, we'll make another one of those. And what we can do now, now. Light armor no longer needs an armor locker. Oh, I re did, did redo my uh, my avatar before starting this. Um, I look like a really grumpy old man in the previous. <laughs> of course, that means we've got lights, and I think we've got a tiny bit of light near going. We've got a spider's nest about over there. How much? How much have I got in the way of shotgun shells? Have I got any more? Don't make any more. Oh, okay, well, make that. Make that. Hell. And we're going to see if. I don't really want to attack a spider's nest in the dark, but if we can hit them in daylight uh, or half light. Uh, so we've got, still got quite a lot of resources around here. Um, aha. Uh -huh. 
right near the engine compartment. Hello guys, are you around? I'm assuming it's going to be spiders. Here they come. They're all coming at me at board. Wow, there's quite a lot of them. Up <laughs> uh, some wasting ammunition. Uh, we may have to back off a little bit. Ah! So we may have to back off a little bit. Because um, if it gets too dark, I don't really want to fight spiders in the dark. Uh, reload. What happened to? There it is, just there. Hello, guys. get in here now I can't remember if there's any loot boxes underneath but what we will do is just do uh, a little bit of a okay we're running out of ammunition time to withdraw uh, we will take the copper. Haha. <laughs> we can always come back and do it again. Oh, we've got a new marker over there, which is our... Oh. You want to follow me, do you? Um, thank you. Thank you. We're down to our last eight shots. So, uh, yeah. Right, definitely time to retreat back to base. Right, up you. on the hover bike get back to here you in there take that with us um, and the energy drink might be useful I don't the trouble is I've got getting too much in the way of junk now um, We can make flour and water. How much have we got? Make some bread. I think bread lasts uh, a little while. We got. We're gonna have to make some water. Um. Make two of those. This will. This is good for hangover and dehydration. And this is for stun. <laughs> um. Right. We got the we got one spice we can make that and we can make one, two, three, four, five, six. So we crack the food problem and we make bandages. Um so we'll look bedwise, yep. Um we can make an, one more bandage, actually. Well, we got one of these. That's proof against poison. I think it might be better just to have one of these. I think we're going to have to need to think a little bit about water. 
and you can see how dark it's got now um we're also going to need to make some more ammunition as well aren't we <laughs> um right we've got a little bit of a pile up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to want to go out very very carefully now we've only got eight shots left and see if we can get some more resources close by um hopefully we won't run into anything that's nasty um it'd be great if this lot's regenerating very quickly i'm just going to keep collecting this um close in what i should have done is gone out wider and left this for the night at least we can see well if i turn the light off look <laughs> That's what we would have been up against if we hadn't made the suit. It's one very key lesson I learned about Reforged Eden um, is that, that operating in the dark is very, very difficult. Um, uh, how are we doing for weight? A little bit more capacity so we're okay that engine compartment part of me says loot it another part of me says keep it so that we can do it I can't remember if we've actually looked inside I think you can get in the, the back door here can't you I've got the jet crack on. We can get in the back door here. Tier two, tier one multi tool. We need to make a multi charge, but we haven't got any multi charges, so um, there's probably nothing in here. No. See, the downside is if I if I take this base over, what is going to what will happen is is that. In Reforged Eden, it won't be long before we, even at lower levels, we won't be long before we... Keep backing up, we can... As long as he doesn't get in melee range. I gotcha. Um... Are we doing? Okay, we only got the one. Just kind of looking round to see what we can find. Um, we've already got you and you. Uh, could probably do with some more crushed stone, but. Right, it's a, it's a natural sweetener over there. Which I think we can eat. But we've got proof against the indigestion, so we'll go there. Go there. Natural sweetener. I think we can. This is where it goes. You have indigestion. Nope. Right, I'm just going to work my way back to the base again and see what we can um, so. or is the rescue module I've come around the wrong Where's the front? There it is. We're just getting in here. Got perish time of 111. We've got herbal tea doesn't perish. Oh, this is still going. Um, got that, that, offload that, 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 and that. Okay, um, Part of me 
Sphinx sniper rifle actually. Uh, let me just see. Can we get the sniper rifle? Yes, we can. How can we make the sniper rifle? We can. And we're do lots of those. We're eat some of those. Actually, we'll eat a couple of these because they increase our health. And some of these will perish soon. We've got the Slami as a backup with a longer lifespan. Gonna, actually, I'm going to put some of the biofuel in here. Uh, we need some more trees. So I'm just going to go and get some more trees. The reason I'm kind of chunking away with the biofuel, um, actually, I'm, I'm, I've got a prejudice against the chainsaw, but we'll give it a go. Um, we should get a little bit of auto regeneration because well, I've got 18 logs. How much? That wasn't too bad actually. Right, we're just going to chop some trees down. Starter biome. Um, get some in there. Keep storing that. Chop and, and a couple more down. And hopefully by then the construction will be ready. And of course, we're wandering around in the dark is a bit high risk. So, uh, of course, the chainsaw can act as a as a what we call it a melee tool if you're really desperate so it's, it's the only melee tool that's in the game at the moment i i really hope that Elliot, that now that there's a melee mechanic that that may be expanded over time uh, so we'll just get back and offload some more stuff Um, it's a bit 37. Put you in there, right? We've now got the sniper rifle. We don't need the torch that can get trashed. We've got the ammunition that can go out there. I'm gonna get put the pistol because that's not really my type of weapon. Keep the survival tool. Uh, I think we're more it's more flexible to have the chainsaw uh, the survival tool than the chainsaw um, uh, trash the lamp and we've now got our shotgun with 75 rounds not a vast amount but and we've got but we can make those as we go out and about don't have that much time left on this video because I don't want them to be too long and I don't really want to go out explore start exploration in this part so I think what I'm going to do but now is just talk a little bit about the options for SVs uh, my instinct is nightshade B but we'd have to unlock some stuff here Um. It says it's a level 10 though. Uh, we may have a problem with that. Maybe we can have to... We've got the Black Star here, which is level 7. I don't think we can go any lower. I don't think there's anything around that's level 7, isn't it? What I'm looking for is a small SV just to explore the planet. Because how big is the planet? Um, it's a large planet. Or it says it's a large planet. So we've got quite a lot to explore. So maybe the next part will expand our exploration range and we'll um, do some work with the black the thing here. This is, well, what we can do is just unlock a few things, which we know we are going to get. We've got 80 points. We're certainly going to need Gatling guns. Um, we're certainly going to need a 
that reasonably size. We are definitely on small vessel, aren't we? Um, certainly would like cargo boxes, O2 station, container controller, container extension, um, ammunition controller we will probably need. See how we're doing now with the we need small thrusters, mobile constructor armor, locker. Well, we can keep unlocking what we do. Um, got this black star. There's wireless connector ramps. So, um, well, the wireless connectors in miscellaneous. We we have to unlock that anyway. Um, ventilator. So so. Uh, small vessel. We're probably going to need ramps anyway, so we're going to have to do shutter doors, ramps, and landing gear. Um, don't need a passenger seat. We're, hopefully, we won't need the CPU extender. Something's huffing and puffing around me. I heard something going. Oh, haha. Okay, let me just have a quick look in the workshop. Right, we need medium thrusters, small generator, RCS, oxygen station. So we can... So I don't want... We're going to need the small... Okay, we're going to have to... Oh, we need to get to level 7 for that. We can't unlock anything there. Uh, the O2 station. Um, we don't really need the armor locker just at the moment. I think we've un... Uh, the detector would, would be nice. I think that kind of expands everything now. So if we go back and look at our options now. We've got this cobalt moon. And it says small generator armor locker. I thought I'd unlock the armor locker. Am I unlocking the right thing? I thought I'd unlock the armor locker. Okay, no. Um... Okay, and oh, I didn't do the small generator. <laughs> that's no great problem because no, that's level seven, isn't it? So we can't we can't get that. How far have we got to go to get to level seven? Um, we're fifty-two percent through level six, so we should be able to get to level seven relatively easily. A uh, quick recap. Yeah, so basically now we've got it says medium thrusters, medium thrusters. I never really understood that. Small generator and medium thrusters. It's got medium thrusters three times. That might do be down to the fact that this probably wasn't made for the uh, for reforged Eden. Um, see, basically it's medium thrusters. We got the Mark II here, which is a ship by Spange, which isn't too bad. It doesn't have a lot of storage, but uh, it's only got medium thrusters, RSC, small generators. Um, actually, sorry about this. Um, this is a level 7 as well. We've got the Nightshade B, which is a level 10. It's got medium thrusters on it. Then we got this one, which is level 15. Uh, and we, we don't have Cobalt. So we may have to go with this. Uh, that might be our ne next objective, but I'd, I'd like to get out and explore. So I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video, found it interesting. We've got our, ba our armor, we've got basic weapons, and we've got the ability to get out and mine because we've got a mine, a, a mechanical drill. We've got some biofuel. And, and of course, we, the sniper rifle is going to be in case we encounter any drones because the shotgun is useless at range. So we've got the ability to take down drones, even if we haven't got that much ammunition. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.